हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं हूं रामेश्वर और आप सभी का मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल पे स्वागत है फ्रेंड्स जैसे कि आप जानते हो आवर मेन एम इज टू कवर द डिफरेंट कंसेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू द फूड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड फूड लॉज इन विच आवर मेजर एम्फेसिस इज ऑन द सेंट्रल फूड सेफ्टी ऑफिसर एग्जामिनेशन टेक्निकल ऑफिसर एग्जामिनेशन विच आर गोइंग टू हेल्प विद कंसेंट टू द मेन्स एग्जाम फ्रेंड्स ऑलरेडी आई हैव कवर्ड फाइव ट्यूटोरियल्स फॉर द सेम If you miss any of them, then link is given in the I button. You could follow the same. और रही आज की बात आज हम बात करने वाले हैं different food laboratories. जी हाँ different food laboratories in which we have to specify what is the food laboratory, then how it is actually implemented, the number of laboratories in India with concern to the food testing and sampling. So definitely we are moving ahead with concern to all the data which is required. for the same definitely i think the session is def useful to you so be with me till the last so friends hamara pehla sawal banta hai what is food laboratory it is typically a type of laboratory maybe a research institute or even an organizations which follows three different set of principles or we could say three different set of parameters first one is it should be established under central or state government second it should have the accreditation under nabl or may be a equivalent accreditation here nabl stands for national accreditation board for testing calibration laboratory and third one recognized under fss ai that is the food authority under section number 43 here section number 43 of food safety and standard act states that section number 43 is typically for recognizing and accreditation of laboratory research institute and referral food laboratory under section 43 of food safety and standard act 2006 food laboratory have many distinct stated responsibilities to assess the physico chemical properties and at the same time to assess calorific value for any article of food hence we could say that food laboratory and testing is one of the vital important thing which is required nowadays to ensure the food safety for consumption friends ab hum aage ki taraf ruk karte hain what are the different types of food laboratories in india we could say there are different five types of food laboratories in india and these are first is the national food laboratory then primary food laboratory referral food laboratory national reference laboratory and state or public food laboratory now so first is the national food laboratory here keep in mind one thing fssa has its own two laboratories first one is the national food laboratory is which is at ghaziabad and second one is the central food laboratory it is at kolkata here both laboratory also referred as referral food laboratory friends ab hum baat karte hain second type that is the primary food laboratory and the main aim of the primary food laboratory is to do the sample analysis as per the section number 47 of the act that is the fssa act section number 47 is typically for sampling and analysis of for any article of food yahan pe ek baat dhyan mein rakhiye primary food laboratory should must be recognized under section number 431 of the fssa act okay aur yahan pe the major focal point is first one is the we could say the validity of the uh, particular laboratory and second one is the scope of study for different types of articles and day by day the number of primary food laboratories are increases we could say in their 2017 the number of primary food laboratories are 131 and currently they are 187 iska matlab zyada se zyada primary food laboratories aa rahi hai that is a good sign फ्रेंड्स अब हम बात करते हैं थर्ड टाइप दैट इज द रेफरल फूड लेबोरेटरी आर या फी एल करंटली देर आर नाइनटीन नंबर ऑफ रेफरल फूड लेबोरेटरीज सो फ्रेंड्स रेफरल फूड लेबोरेटरीज द मेन एम इज टू डू द सैम्पल एनालिसिस फॉर अपील्ड सैम्पल्स वेयर अ टाइप ऑफ अपील इज मेड बाय मीन्स ऑफ द फूड बिजनेस ऑपरेटर क्योंकि जब फूड बिजनेस ऑपरेटर का कुछ सैंपल कलेक्ट किया है जैसे कि एफ ने कलेक्ट किया है एंड इफ any type of offenses is made then type of penalty is provided and if 
FBI is not satisfied with the way results are actually conducted, then he could make an appeal. And these type of appealed samples move to the referral food laboratory and the result made by them is final verdict. So friends, RFL is actually recognized under section number 43.2 in FSSA Act 2006. And what are the different types of 19 RFL that is referral food laboratories. Friends, now we have four types that is the National Reference Laboratory, NRL. If we talk about NRL, then here the main aim is to do the routine activities by means of development of new product or proficiency in testing, which is recognized by the Food Authority itself. Currently, there are 12 number of National Reference Laboratory and in addition to that, two which is their ANRL, that is the Ancillary National Reference Laboratory. Here the major function of NRL that is National Reference Laboratory is to act as a resource center for providing information. Again development of standard for routine food laboratories and also for reference food laboratory. It act as a technical support in area of competence which it has and provide a proper coordination between food laboratories and referral food laboratories and with concern to ANRL that is ancillary national reference laboratory it act as a proficiency testing provider in specific area assigned to them friends abha baat karenge which are the different types of 14 number of NRL Friends, now the fifth one that is the state or public food laboratory. Currently there are 72 in number. Aur pe ek dhyan mein rakhiye, here the main aim is to provide a specific role with concern to the given state, with concern to the specific state. If suppose the number of laboratories are not there for a particular state, then here FSSAI notifies that different types of private laboratories could be again engaging in that concern. So from that concern, major focus is on food safety with concern to the consumption. So now we will talk which are the 72 public laboratories.
फ्रेंड्स यहाँ पे मेजर फोकस हमारा है टू गेट एक्रीडिएशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फूड टेस्टिंग लैब अगर हम बात करेंगे फूड टेस्टिंग लैब की दे आर करेंटली सिक्स हंड्रेड ऑड एंड आउट ऑफ फीच नियरली सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट आर गॉट एक्रीडिएशन बाय मीन्स ऑफ एन ए बी एल एंड विथ कंसेंट टू द वी कुड से वाटर एंड फूड टेस्टिंग इच इज नियरली वन थाउजेंड इन नंबर एंड आउट ऑफ फीच नियरली एट्टी परसेंट गॉट एक्रीडिएशन बाय मीन्स ऑफ एन ए बी एल सो यर मेजर फोकस इज टू गेट द स्टैंडर्ड स्पेसिफिकेशन बाय मीन्स ऑफ एन ए बी एल एक्रीडिएशन सो फ्रेंड्स इन एडिशन टू दीज फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ लैब वी कुड से देर इज ऑल्सो वन कैटेगरी दैट इज नथिंग बट द ऑदर इन विच डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेटअप बाई मीन्स ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग द फैसिलिटी ऑफ फूड टेस्टिंग लैब इन विच टिपिकली ई आई सी एक्सपोर्ट इंस्पेक्शन काउंसिल विच इज थर्टी फाइव लैब्स अपेडा हैज फोर्टी फोर यम एफ पी आई सेवेंटी टू बी आई एस हैविंग टू ट्वेंटी नाइन लैब्स एगमार्क आईओसो आयुष मंत्रालय ऑल्सो दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लैब फैसिलिटी एंड फूड टेस्टिंग फैसिलिटीज सो फ्रेंड इट्स टाइम टू मेक अ कंक्लूजन अबाउट आवर टूडे सेशन टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फाइव फूड लेबोरेटरीज फर्स्ट इज द नेशनल फूड लेबोरेटरी दे आर आर टू इन नंबर दे ऑल्सो रेफर्ड एज रेफरल फूड लेबोरेटरी सेकेंड प्राइमरी फूड लेबोरेटरी मेन एम इज टू एनालाइज द सैम्पल एंड करेंटली दे आर आर वन एटी सेवन इन नंबर थर्ड वन इज द रेफरल फूड लेबोरेटरी करेंटली दे आर आर नाइनटीन इन नंबर एंड द मेजर एम इज टू डू द एनालिसिस ऑफ द appealed samples where any type of offenses could be made fourth one is the national reference laboratory there are currently 14 in number out of which 12 are the nrl and remaining two are the applied or we could say ancillary national reference laboratory in which the major task is to give one with consent to the proficiency in testing fifth one is the state food laboratory here the major emphasis is particularly with concern to the state currently there are 72 in number apart from that we also discuss about the different laboratories under the bis we could say apeda also mfpi and many more friends hope the whole session is definitely useful to you and imperative to you if it's your first time on my channel then don't forget to click on like and subscribe button and hit on the bell icon definitely i will try to get such more sessions which is useful to you and imperative to you agar aapko koi pareshani hai ya koi dikkat hai for the session definitely you can text me in the comment section thank you for today's session